Animal-assisted therapy has arisen out of a research recognition that um, people, people's, both their mental, emotional, and physical well-being is enhanced in interaction with an animal. Um, I am, have dogs. Dogs fit into that category. A couple of years ago, um, I informally started offering classes to people who were interested in doing this kind of work so that they could come in and, and learn a little bit about what it was like, what you had to learn to do, how to read their dogs, um, tricks that would be useful for them to know in terms of managing interaction and in terms of just managing situations. I'm now part of Pet Partners, which used to be known as Delta Society. So we recruit people who, who are interested in doing this and then we try and help them understand what the evaluation will be like what they're expected to be able to do and then more importantly from my end it's ask teach them show them the kinds of things that they're going to be prepared have to be prepared to handle when they get out and actually do the work it starts with both members of the team being having the aptitude for this um, the handler end needs to be somebody who wants to volunteer who doesn't need a lot of reward to step out and do things, um, who's interested in understanding his or her dog, um, having the time to do this. From the animal end, you need a dog who is rock stable, predictable, readable, social, uh, trainable. Um, it's nice if they are also very approachable so that they don't go scaring people. And um, so you get, you have a handler who wants to do this, you have an animal who's, who's suited for it, you start by basic training, basic obedience training. Once that's accomplished, if you want to go on and do work with pet partners, you need to work on a whole variety of skills. The dog needs to learn to take, I want to be careful how I say this, but slightly rougher than usual handling. It's not unusual for somebody who's compromised physically to be a little clumsy in the way they pet a dog. They need to learn how to uh, handle noise. They need to. Um, they need to be kept clean, <laughs> healthy, um, hygienic. I mean, and then at some point, everybody has to learn how to read how to know what know how to serve the client who's being visited know how to manage the situation that they're presented with no matter what happens and believe me everything happens know how to read their dog so that they can get their dog out of out of trouble if things might be going south um, and how to know their own limits and if I had my druthers the members of this class will pass the test they certainly have the, the dogs and the attitude to do it and that they will get involved in the community. We are desperate for teams, desperate. We have far more things we can do than, or that are, we're asked to do than we can possibly serve.